Thanks for joining us. A three-term Minnesota State Representative says she has been the target of repeated sexual harassment at the state capitol. A Democratic Representative Lori Halverson says other female lawmakers are also targets of unwanted sexual advances by lawmakers from both parties. Halverson is the third woman to go public with reports of sexual harassment at the Minnesota Capitol. Our Pat Kessler has the story. Discussion on that motion. The member from Dakota, Representative Halverson. But that's why she's a three-term state lawmaker and a Democratic House leader. Really feels unfortunate. To and me. the last thing Representative Lori Halverson expected at the Capitol. I had a legislator say that um, he wanted to kiss me. Routine sexual harassment. We're not going to take it anymore. She told WCCO lawmakers from both parties made unwanted sexual advances to her. This year, forced by a lawmaker with others present to look at a cell phone image of a man's genitals. Against my will. I was saying, don't show it to me, don't show it to me. And it was shown to me, so. When she objected. The response that I got was, hey, Lori, I thought you were cool. Halverson was shaken by the incident and says her reaction is similar to other harassed women. I had trouble meeting the eyes of my colleagues the next day. I um, had trouble sleeping that night. I had to talk to another colleague and say this happened to me last night. I'm so upset by it. This type of behavior. Last week, two other women filed complaints against Democratic Senator Dan Schoen and Republican State Representative Tony Cornish. Halverson won't name the harassers and won't file a complaint. Like other women, she says it could end her political career. Women want only to be treated as equal and to be judged on our merits and not on our um, sexuality. Pat Kessler, WCCO 4 News. The Minnesota House has ordered an outside review of some of the charges. Also today, Democratic Governor Mark Dayton ordered a statewide review of government sexual harassment policies.